experience and today we're going to make some soap for our new soap mold uh, cutter set. I want to make a little addendum to uh, the recipe that I had uh, done on the um, last video. Uh, I increased the uh, amount that I'm going to use of oil in this one and I'm going to put a description, I'm sorry, a link in the description box down below. So if you want to download this uh, recipe, you can take a look at it yourself and do some changes and just enjoy it if you like. Okay, so what I've done is I've, I buy my uh, coconut oil and shea butter and olive oil and lye. I buy it all in bulk. So what I like to do is, is just have it all lined up here. And the first thing we're going to start with is we're going to add the lye to the water. In the, uh, when I made the recipe, I mentioned that I, I normally like to do this part outside, but it's uh, 25 degrees Celsius, 80 Fahrenheit, so uh, it's not going to cool off any faster. So I'm going to just turn the fan up a little bit higher. There'll be a little bit of noise. Um, but basically, I'm just going to slowly uh, pour the lye into our water. the uh, bowl out there with some cold water. So it was a little chunky here, the lye when I put it in. Uh, you'll see, uh, you saw the scale I, I had so I was able to measure it down to the gram, gram. And okay, that feels like it's all Rinsed, uh, sorry, all mixed good. I can feel the heat coming off of that lye. And we have, uh, yeah, it's 75, 80 degrees. So what I'm going to do is, is just because it's breezy outside and it's not so cold, but it is quite breezy today. So I'm going to go ahead and put this uh, lye outside. Alrighty, I've got the pan. I just uh, turned it on actually quite uh, kind of low, just so we don't want to cook the oils. We just want to melt them. I'm going to go ahead and add our olive oil first. In goes our coconut oil. And now goes the shea butter. Didn't even eat it. It's good. Okay, so you see we have uh, just some good uh, chunks here. Now the pan's getting warm. I'll turn it down a bit. This pan is nice and warm. I'm gonna turn the the heat off now, and I think just the residual uh, heat here is gonna get these last bits melted. Okay, now we have the oil and the lye. They're both around uh, just under 50 degrees uh, Celsius. 
So we're going to start by pouring our oil into our mixing bowl. Try to get it down to the, get all of the drops out of there if I can. We're gonna just slowly mix in the lye and then I'm going to put all this into the sink because uh, it kind of likes to splash and uh, mix it up in the sink. But just the initial, so I'm just going to pour it in slowly here, give it some good... Mm, righty, now we have our uh, oils here ready to be mixed and uh, I normally use a stick blender, but my it burned out on the last time I made soap, so I, I neglected to buy a new one. But uh, this works fine on smaller batches. On bigger batches, I would highly recommend a, a stick uh, blender. <laughs> our uh, essential oil. I have a little bit of peppermint oil and uh, you can see we're very 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 close to trace. Let's let's give this a, a little bit more mix. You can see how the swirls there. Alright, let's go ahead and put that in our soap bowl. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful soap. And uh, we're going to just pour it into our mold here. At 800 grams of oil worked out really good. You can see we have almost a full mold. And uh, as I mentioned before, oh, please use a uh, stick blender. If you don't and you only have a regular uh, mixer, just have lots of patience. It uh, this time it took me a long time. Uh, I normally use a stick blender. Oopsie daisy. We can just smooth that out a little bit. And okay, so we have the uh, soap in our nice mold here and the top is on. Um, my other molds don't have this uh, plastic top and it makes it uh, really nice here because when we lay these towels out over top uh, we don't have to worry about that uh, getting down into the soap. The reason for wrapping it up really good is the soap is still curing and we want to keep the heat in as long as, as we can. It's going to allow the bar to get harder uh, faster. So I'm going to check it tomorrow morning and see how it is. Uh, sometimes I've actually had to leave the bars, uh, the, the, this big bar here like this, for several days. So we'll take a look at it tomorrow. <laughs> Hello, and here we are with our 
uh, taking out of the box anyways. Uh, it's been two days. I allowed, uh, yeah, two days. Yesterday I just touched it and it was quite hard so I was really happy. Uh, oh, the peppermint in there is wonderful. So, uh, some holes in the bottom for help pushing it out. So we're really, we're doing uh, kind of like a Les Stroud on Survivor Man. Uh, uh, I haven't, uh, we're going to just do this live. Sometimes, it, uh, even with a clean mold, as I wrote in the blog on the website, you know, clean the mold. Let's see, maybe we can... There we go. This mold is going to work like that. Ah, look at that. Oh, that worked really good. I hadn't tried it that way before. <laughs> this mold, though. Nice, 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 nice. Hello, and welcome back. Uh, again, we have uh, taken our soap out of the box, and now we have our... Uh, mold here. Uh, I'm sorry, our cutter. And uh, if you can see underneath here, uh, we have the uh, this blade, and I have just it adjusted very little bit here, so that what we actually have now is a planer, and we're going to just slowly. Bring the soap over, and we can see the and I actually am going to leave it that way. It's a little bit rough in uh, this part here, but I, I really I don't mind that. It, but now we have the this top uh, is quite. Smooth. We'll just do one more pass on that. There we go. Look at this. Some soap shavings. You can actually ball that up and find a use for that. I hate to throw things away. You know? This first. Changed it now. So right here it's on this first line here. And just like a, in a woodworking shop, you have your. Oh, those are nice. That's a nice thickness of the bar there. I like that. I like that a lot. It cuts very easily. Very easily. So I'm going to kind of push against this wood here a little bit as I go down. There we go. There we go. Very nice. It's a very similar cut to our square one. So we're going to continue cutting using the wavy cutter. A nice two inch thick bar. So that's uh, 50 millimeters oh, that cuts uh, very nice very nice I uh, I think that's gonna make it 
I added the, a little bit of salt to these to help uh, cure it faster so I could take it out of the box and a little bit of sugar just to try to increase the bubbliness. The ingredients we chose for this bar uh, were not as bubbly as but it was a more simple bar. We're just trying it here for the first time our cutting system and do our new soap mold. And this last bit is going to be a little bit of you can say leftover, but uh, what I like to do with those. We can kind of add this together and pack it down. And we could make a, a bar of soap or a ball of soap or, or whatever, but I'm very happy with the, the results here. A little bit of a learning curve. You guys got to see how how this goes. Now what I like to do is I have uh, just a plastic rack, wooden rack. I have different different kind of racks, and I'm going to lay these out so that they get air all around them, and I want them to dry for uh, about two weeks before I actually use them. But uh, thank you so much for watching, and. Uh, if you're interested, we have these on the Etsy shop and also on our Earthway shop. Thank you.